Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planned Alyssa. I am here with a haul video for you today. So I just got back from the first rummage sale I went to today. I'm going to be going to another one later in the afternoon. I think my boyfriend will be joining me for that one. This one was a little bit too early for him uh, with his sleep schedule. He was he was still asleep, so he didn't make it to this one with me. But um, this is one I've gone to before. It's very local. Uh, prices are usually very good and you really, well, like any rummage sale, you never know what you're going to find. So I got some cool stuff which I'm going to show you. A lot of stuff is not individually priced at this sale, so I can't really tell you what I spent on individual items unless they do have a price on them, like a few things do. But otherwise, it's all just kind of, they put it all together and give you a price. So I paid $31 all together at the sale, which I think I did pretty good for my investment. So I'm going to show you the different things that I picked up. And uh, first thing we have here is a pair of gloves. These are vintage gloves. They're suede, uh, ladies' gloves, the cool stripe design. Uh, this is to go on Amazon. It's a, uh, it's a tin sign. Uh, Jurassic World, the movie branded thing, uh, you know, it's warning, do not touch electrified fence with the, the dinosaur on it. There is a 25 cents written there, which I will wipe off. Loot Crate was Makers' is brand new sealed. I think, I mean, it wasn't going for a lot on Amazon, maybe like $12 or so, but hey, for 25 cents, I can make some money on it. Um, these are to go on Amazon too. Club Penguin. Do you remember Club Penguin? Um, there are a couple of figurines. There is a listing for them. The rank is, is pretty high, but, um, there's also not a lot of sellers because, you know, they haven't been around for a while, so they should sell. Um, again, I don't know what I paid for this. It wasn't going for a ton of money, but, um, I don't know, maybe $12 again or so. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll make some money on it. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, it's a little box, like a, like a matchbox, but it's plastic. And um, I don't know if you can see, it's got the white rabbit from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and a little quote from the book. And uh, pretty cool. I do collect Alice stuff. I'm not in my, my office where I have all my Alice stuff, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this or sell this. I haven't really decided, but I just thought it was cool. And, you know, I love Alice stuff. This is to go on Amazon. It's a Crayola coloring fun mug. It's brand new, sealed. Um, again, not worth a super lot of money, but I didn't pay a lot for it, so I'll make a few bucks there. I bought some clothing, which I don't normally buy, as you know from watching this channel, but I don't know. You know, I was just kind of rummaging, rummaging at the rummage sale through some clothes and found some different things. This is to go on, on Etsy. It is a vintage t-shirt from the All Valley Karate Championship from 1984. Um, don't even know what size it is. Just, that's a Delta Pro Weight t-shirt, but um, pretty cool vintage shirt. Um, just judging. It probably looks like about a large, if I was going to guess. And uh, yeah, I know it's a weird thing, but I think someone on Etsy will buy that. Then. Um, I got some shirts. Now, the brand I don't think is anything much. There's a couple of different brands, um, but they're 4XLs. And so that's not something you come across too often. They're all, and this one's not really a Hawaiian shirt, it's a Hawaiian print, but it's actually like a polo shirt. It's a knit uh, polo shirt. King size is the brand, but it's a 4XL tall. So I'm going to put that on eBay and see if that sells. And then the other two are Hawaiian shirts, traditional Hawaiians. This one's king size two is the brand 4XL. Um, pretty cool print black with uh, like a little island there, a little hut. Um, I don't even know what it's made of. Must be tagged somewhere inside. And then this one, the brand is Pineapple Connection, size 4XL and uh, light blue with yellow flowers and palm trees and whatnot. So we'll see. Um, I'm not really a clothing person normally, but just the size really is what made me pick those up. Um, this was weird, but I do believe it's vintage and I do think it might sell on Etsy. It's a little funny thing. To register a complaint, press red button, and of course the red button is on a mouse trap, so. Um, Cute, cute, funny. Uh, just a, this is actually plastic light switch cover. 
Um, does appear to be vintage, has this pretty flower design on it. Nice and light, so this can get shipped first class. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll list that on Etsy. Just a notebook, because it was cheap, I think. Um, and a nice quality one I could use for Etsy listings or whatever. I do believe this is vintage. It's gonna go on Etsy. Smooth as Silk Kessler, which is apparently a type of blended whiskey. And uh, just a wooden sign, has a hook on the back, actually has some pads there so you don't scrape your wall. Um, nice little bar sign, a little bit worn, but not in bad shape, and that kind of adds to the vintage appeal. So this is something, I do know how much I paid for it, I paid a dollar for it. Um, it's a vintage Philco radio, I don't know if you can see it, it's in like this uh, leather casing. It is, a, it is really in this leather casing, because it is like screwed into it and the screws are rusty because this is so old um you know here's the plug on it just to give you an idea uh so pretty cool vintage radio um not worth a ton of money but again i paid a dollar probably get maybe 20 25 bucks for it on etsy just a weird little thing i'm gonna put this on amazon gamma go rise and shine sippy cup it's made to look like a starbucks cup but of course it isn't it's baby ducks coffee um so kind of cute Again, it's like worth maybe 10 bucks, but I didn't really pay much for it, I don't think. Um, one DVD I got at Western Death Rides a Horse. What was this going for? I think it was like $13, $14 on Amazon. Okay, this one's an issue. Um, it's a puzzle, it's new and sealed. If you can't tell, the cover's actually a little bit faded on it. That's not really the issue though. I just kind of scanned it real quick when I was there. Unfortunately, it's one of those puzzles where they use the same UPC code for, you know, multiple different puzzles in the silhouettes line. So I got to see if I can find a listing for this particular one, which I don't even know what it's called. Um, but uh, if not, I'll have to make one. I'll, I'll have to see what I'm going to do. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Picked up this bottle canister to go on Etsy. Uh, it's Royal Trademark. Uh, it's a quart sized bottle, has, you know, it's kind of lid, hinge lid. Um, had the maker on here, AG Smalley, Boston, New York. At first I thought it was repro, uh, reproduction, because it just kind of looked cool, but I think it's actually original. Um, just as I've eyeballed it a little more, it's nothing too special. I think red stickers like 50 cents, I don't remember, but it wasn't much, so, uh, yeah, I'll put it on Etsy, see if it goes. Kind of cool. And then these are also to go on Etsy. They're, you know, mama and baby skunk here. Uh, they're like a terracotta thing, but painted. They're, what do you call it? Glazed, um, black, white stripes. Uh, it's funny, the woman, when she was wrapping them up after I, I bought them, she's like, oh, I don't want your, your cats to get damaged. I'm like, cats? It's clearly a skunk, right? I mean, that's a skunk. Um, so she better be careful if she goes outside, you know, she might be, yeah, start petting a skunk or something, who knows. Uh, I picked these up, these were a dollar for the set of them. Um, they're vintage Christmas mugs, so most of them look like this, have this pattern. Um, they're, they're a little bit worn, but they're not in bad shape. Um, ceramic mugs, there are four of them, did I say that? Um, now this one is different. One of these is not like the others. This one has a holly berry design and the rest say that Merry Xmas on them. Uh, so very similar, but not quite the same. Um, but for a dollar, I'll just sell them all together on Etsy and, you know, see how it goes. Okay, I got a whole bunch of these. They had a bunch of these here. Um, they are um, batting helmets, batting helmet hats. Uh, smaller size, like a child size that somebody had as a collection. I've sold some of these in the past, like a long time ago on Etsy. Um, they're not like worth a ton of money, but they did okay. Um, it's funny, I think I got them at the same rummage sale. Anyway, so I didn't buy all the ones they had, but I did buy quite a few of them. So this one's Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh, and they were all $2 a piece. So let me put them somewhere. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, San Diego, what is San Diego's baseball team? I don't even know. Padres? Uh, Two dollars. I don't even know. Is that like uh, Montreal Expos, I guess? 
really challenging me here. But uh, vintage style, you know, the, the colors, the, the design and the helmets, I don't think they have ones like that anymore. The Pirates one might not be too different. I'm not sure though. I think these are still Toronto Blue Jays there. Uh, Orioles, definitely vintage looking there. And finally, whatever the heck that is, I have no idea. I have to look that up. Baseball experts can let me know. And those were all the helmets I got there. Uh, so then I got some cameras. Well, okay, I really bought this for the bag. I don't know if the camera has any value, but it's a Tamarack camera case in really nice condition, um, nice size. It was a buck, you know, so it's just nice compartments and everything. Now what it comes with, what is in here, is a Kodak Easy Share CX6330. I don't know if there's any value in this, really. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't look it up at all. There might be. There might be. Um, might sell it. You can sell it either on Amazon or eBay, depending on if there's value. It comes with a charger. There's actually some spare batteries in there. Uh, well, there's cases for the uh, for the SD cards. I don't think there are any cards in there. But yeah, for a dollar, um, that case, I think I can sell on eBay for, well, I don't know for how much, but for more than a dollar, that's for sure. Um, then some old Polaroids. So I got this one. This was 50 cents. Um, it's black with a bright yellow there. I've never had one of these particular ones before. When you open it, it looks like that. It's called Polaroid Job Pro. Not tested. Um, but can show you some. Oh, I think I must have film in there because when I opened that, it actually made noise like the, the battery was going. And usually on Polaroids, the, uh, the film is also the battery. The, um, I just noticed the eyepiece is actually damaged. It's messed up. But 50 cents, I don't care. And finally, I think this is the last thing I got there. It's another camera case. No, it's another Polaroid. This is the green one, which I believe I've sold before. Green with gray. This was a dollar. Um, so it looks like that when it's open. I hear this one making noise too. I wonder if these have film in them. Um, I will have to see. And this one, check it out, comes with some Polaroid 600 instant film. Um, this is a two pack, so 20 photos in all. So I could, if I wanted to, use this probably to test both of these. I'm not sure if they both take the same Polaroid film, but I'm thinking they might even have film in there. So um, for a dollar, got the camera and a sealed package of, you know, long expired, but um, possibly still working Polaroid film. And a case. Uh, the case isn't anything special. Um, it actually came with the camera. Look, it's a Polaroid case. So I'll probably sell the camera and the case together. Now the Polaroids, I'll probably put them on Etsy. I'm not sure. Could put them on eBay, but I think I will probably try and sell those on Etsy. I've done well with Polaroids. Untested ones on Etsy before, so we shall see. So guys, that's just the first sale of the day. I don't know what to expect from this afternoon sale because I've never gone to it before. I was just talking to someone at this sale who, you know, I know he lives locally, he goes to all the sales. He's planning on going to that one probably too. Uh, he had never been before, but he said he heard it's very small. So we shall see. Um, you never know though. Sometimes the small ones you can do really well at. There's like a big one going on today in New Jersey. Today is like Robert Hill Day. There's another one going out on somewhere else in Pennsylvania. So. Sometimes that helps because there's maybe less people at the sales. I don't know if I really noticed the difference this morning. It seemed to be the same crowd as always at this rumber sale. Maybe a few less people, but not many, not many less. And, uh, you know, we'll see tomorrow, uh, to this afternoon because it's later in the day. Uh, it's one that doesn't start till 4. Even if people went to the big sale in New Jersey, which started like at 9 to, um, they could still get back here, back over this way, which is, this one's in New Jersey, but right here, uh, right on the border. They could still get back in time for this one, so I don't know if that'll keep people away or not, but I don't know if they'll even bother for a small sale. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I really don't have a, any idea.
Okay, I'm back. I know, you're watching a video, it seems like I didn't go anywhere, but it's actually a couple days later and I'm filming part two of my rummage sale haul because I went to the second rummage sale in the afternoon. My boyfriend did come with me. I didn't film in the car, I didn't film there, I didn't film at the first sale either. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible uh, videoer here, video maker. But anyway, I did pick up a few things at the second sale. It was definitely a smaller sale and it was very, it was not organized at all. I mean, like stuff was just in this room. I mean, the, the clothing was on tables and more or less sorted into, you know, men's, women's, kids, that sort of thing. But then everything else was just kind of scattered around the room. Like normally you go to sale, they have like the toys in, you know, one corner and books in another corner and like household stuff, you know, somewhere else. Um, no, this sale, it was just kind of all spread out around the room and hidden under tables and uh, anyway, so it didn't take long to go through the sale, even though it was such a mess because there really wasn't much stuff. Um, but I picked up a few things, including one I think that's pretty cool. I'll show you that at the end. Um, so, oh, the other thing is I spent $20 even at the sale. This is another thing I didn't like about it. It's one of those, you know, pay what you feel like paying type of things, which I don't, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> you know. I don't want to seem like cheap, but at the same time it's a rummage sale, so you're kind of going there expecting to get stuff for cheap, which is, you know, why you put up with the nonsense of rummage sales, but then at the same time it's like, okay, they're trying to raise money for a good cause. I paid $20. Um, if I had gone to, like, another rummage sale, I probably wouldn't even have paid, like, $10 for this stuff because that's what they would charge at a sale. So, anyway, um, I guess that's how they make more money. Who knows? Uh, so I picked up one of these. I've sold before things like this. This is metal. It's a it's a mail sorter, letters, bills, miscellaneous. Uh, pretty white with the pink roses on it. Now there is at the bottom here a sticker on here. Uh, somebody decided to stick the New Jersey Bell contact sticker at the bottom of this. I'm gonna see if I can remove it without damaging this too much. And, um, and of course list it and sell it on Etsy. Uh, I picked up this little picture. It's a uh, president's. It's a presidential theme. Um, all different presidents. Does it have, let's see, it was made by Chadwick Miller Importers in 1965. Uh, made in Japan. Uh, not in perfect condition. I can feel there's like a little chip on the handle here. And uh, there's some crackling of the glaze too, but pretty cool. I picked this up. It's just a little rubber stamp that's new, unused. I don't even know. I mean, it's a gardening thing. I'm not sure what... Is that a frog? A gardening frog? I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to send it to Amazon. So that's why I picked that up. Then I picked up a vintage address book. It's not very exciting, like the cover. It's just, it's, it's soft cover. Um, but it is unused. There's no writing in it. Um, has these nice big pages. So anyway, I will uh, I will list that on Etsy. And then a ledger book, a vintage ledger ledger book. Uh, also soft cover. Nothing fancy. I think it came from Woolworths somewhere. I thought it said yeah, Woolworths. So uh, you know it's vintage because Woolworths hasn't been around in a few years, I don't think. Um, and that's everything except for. The big exciting thing. So if you're around my age, especially if you're a guy around my age, uh, you'll probably find this especially exciting. Um, what I picked up, this is actually just the box right now, but Masters of the Universe, Castle Grayskull, you know, He-Man, uh, Skeletor, those fellows. Uh, this is an original one in the original box. Uh, now, I, uh, you know, I've taken it out of the box and checked it. It is not complete. Um, it's in good condition. Um, what is here, but it's missing, it's missing the weapons. It's missing a ladder, uh, missing some kind of trainer, whatever device. Um, but it does have like this little elevator thing, whatever that's called in there and the little like slide in floors and the doors on there and you know, the back and the front of the castle. So. I guess the major components are there, um, but the little things are missing. Now, I originally thought, oh, I'll probably list it on either eBay or Etsy. 
Um, I was thinking of maybe $50. I'm really not sure what it's worth. I really do have to do some more research. That it has the box is really nice. And then I started looking and it's actually, there's actually an Amazon listing for the original Castle Grayskull. There's somebody that has one that's selling it Merchant Fulfilled for a lot of money. I think like 200 something dollars. Um, no, I don't even know what condition theirs is in. I just looked real quickly. I have to do more research and see. But um, that it has the box and that the major components are there are nice. I wish all the components were there because it definitely would be worth more money. But we'll see. Um, you know, I might be able to get 100 or more for it. So um, now again, big item. So it is oversized. Um, not my favorite thing to deal with on Amazon. The ranking, though, for this listing is surprisingly low. It's in toys. I mean, when I tell you the rank, it's like 600,000 something, which seems high, but for a toy that was made in the 1980s that they stopped making, uh, for the rank to be that low means, you know, when one is listed, people must buy it right away because there's just only so many out there. So um, that's encouraging. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll report back to you when I make my haul follow-up video to see what it actually sells for. But that's all I got at this sale, so I didn't get much. That's one thing that hopefully I'll do well on and it'll make it worth my time to have gone to the sale. Uh, don't know if I'll go next year because chances are they won't have another Castle and Grace Cole, but you never know. That's the joy of rummage sales. Anyway, uh, that's, that's all I got for you today. So... I will catch up with you soon. I got to get some stuff listed and sell some stuff. So I uh, hope you're all doing well. Happy selling, everyone.